Now, a closer look tonight at some of the contested races in the GOP primary in El Paso County, including the race for county sheriff. Andy Cohen is live for us tonight at that Boot Barn Hall again, gathering with reaction tonight to, with the winner. Andy. Yeah, good evening, Rob. And you know, we saw a lot of support from Republican voters in El Paso County for a lot of the incumbent candidates who are on the ballot. Now, in addition to Dr. Leon Kelly, who is leading in that corners race, and you heard from in Bill Folsom's report, both county commissioners, Holly Williams and Cami Bremer, are incumbents, and they are winning their races for the party's nomination to run for a second term. The undersheriff currently, Joe Royball, he also experienced strong backing from voters in El Paso County tonight. Night. I'm feeling very humbled. Uh, I, I've earned the support of many people in the community, community leaders, uh, both elected and civic leaders, and now clearly I've earned the trust of the community. And Commissioners Bremer and Williams told me they feel like they've also earned the trust of voters after leading the community through a difficult couple of years. Now, Roy Ball will likely face John Foley, a Democrat who's running unopposed for his party nomination in November. Commissioner Williams will face uh, in uh, District 1, Ryan Lucas and Cami Bremer will face John Jarrell in District 5. Reporting from the Boot Barn, Andy Cohen, News 5.